Okay, we got in this file here, actually uh, two files from uh, someone that uh, basically has what they think are corrupted InDesign files. They heard about us, they read our blog, which I'll post in the, in the text side, and they, they can't open these InDesign files up. They're right here, and when I drag them over here into this other window, we'll see what we got. I've got the two files that we just we just got right here uh, you know they appear to be InDesign files dot INDD but when I try to open them in InDesign we get this message now apparently I thought the file was bad but that message had me thinking that seems a little strange so what I did was I took the file and I dropped it on the trusty flight check. Look, if there's something strange with your file, it's not outputting correctly, something's not happening the way you think it should, drop it on flight check. Flight check checks 50 file formats and it will tell you what it really is. And what we see right away is what this file really is, is a PDF. We can see the original file has a similar name. We can see the number of revisions. We can see the author. But we can also see how it was created with Acrobat Distiller 8.1.0. Right there, right in front of us, we can see it. We can see all the images used, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's quite clear this is probably just a PDF. So instead of charging this person 79 uh dollars per file, all we need to do, the next step is simply change these to dot PDF, use that PDF, double click it, and there you go. It opens up in Acrobat. We have a full PDF uh, with all the different pages here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, just a little interesting one how flight check can be used for more purposes than you think than just plain pre flighting. And this is just one example, and we have many other movies of flight check being used to yeah, compare files to do various things. It can check, like we said, 50 plus file formats, including PDF, but also, of course, your native files as well. as a reminder before signing off here uh, you know we're still looking for bad InDesign files we're getting quite a few all the time we've got a couple other projects going right now some exciting uh, things on the horizon here for Marksware but in any event we're still busy with uh, collecting bad InDesign files and we will try to fix them for you at a no cure no pay um, you know proposition so send them over if we can fix them, we'll let you know. It's only uh, $79 um, dollars to get the file fixed. And uh, just, you know, send them over to sales at marksware.nl. If the file's, you know, bigger than five or six megabytes, please first email us for your, you know, for RFTP information. Um, once again, we'll post the blog link here that explains how we do this recovery process because it's quite unique. To recover a bad InDesign file, we use... Quark Express with Marksware's ID to Q installed. We import it into uh, Quark. We save that as Quark. We then use Q to ID in InDesign and reopen the uh, fixed InDesign file that's now Quark once again in InDesign. So, yeah, believe it or not, it works. And, uh, you know, still send us your files on sales at marksware.nl. Thank you again. Signing off, David from Marksware. We'll <laughs> be